personally. Um, there's the issue where you will see bullying everywhere, but only two or three kids will get called out. Everybody else gets away with it. So the bullying has reached a point where there are kids literally self-harming or taking pills or whatever. And then you report it to a principal, the principal or a teacher, and they're just like, oh yeah, we're just giving them a warning. And then, and then they're just gonna continue. Second time you report it, oh no, we just give them in school suspension and then they go back to class. They don't do a thing about it. I, I'm a teacher, so I'm gonna say that you might not see what the adults are doing about it. I'm just gonna tell you that. I don't know your school and, I, and I'm not trying to prove you wrong, but you may not see the adults doing stuff because the kids might be moving way faster than the adults. So we could be trying to put out a fire here when three more are being started here via social media, via what's going on at home when we're not there. Do you understand what I'm saying? Like We could have a one-on-one -on -one talk with these kids and then they get right back on Snapchat and do whatever they were doing right before the talk. Right, or then they see, see each other. I had three girls already that are expelled from my school, first two weeks of school, because they went and jumped somebody at a bus stop. Two different fights. We weren't there to protect them, right? And so I'm not telling you what you're saying is wrong, but I want you to know that we need the kids' help. We can't do it alone. The kids have to be able to say to each other. And that comes, that we have to, as adults, we have to continue empowering you with the tools on what to see, what to say when you see things. And so we have to work together, though. The adults and the kids, we got to figure out how to come together. And you know what? We need more talks like this.